Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Raina Ray, and my guest today is Kristen Cassidy, a creative visual artist. So, Kristen, um, I wanted to correct something. You, we said that your studio is in Cherokee. It is in Cherokee, but you're about to fantastically move somewhere else. Where are you moving? Um, I am moving my studio to downtown. Um, and that is actually something I have to do later today. <laughs> what? Wow, yeah. that's fast. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll be closer to the riverfront. That is very true. Yeah. And your art is actually on display in uh, a bunch of different places around St. Louis. Yeah. Right now I have some work up at the Improv Shop in the Grove. Mm. Um, and I will have uh, my work up uh, this coming September uh, at the St. Louis Airport. Wow. Now, I know you've traveled all over the world, so to speak. You've been to Korea and mm. where else? Costa Rica, <clears throat> uh, England, um, Mexico, Canada. So when you go to those places, do you find the bodies of water wherever you go and collect pieces for art? <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I think I have to. <laughs> uh, it might be a little bit of an obsession. Uh, there's something really interesting about how humans are always drawn to bodies of water. That's usually why a civilization is where it is. Um, and so to collect uh, the remnants of that interaction or to see the way that nature has interacted with um, humans is really exciting. So you would find it boring to go into a field and find something. You've got to go near the water and find something that's been touched by the water. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I do find it a little less exciting. Um, <laughs> probably because I really enjoy the erosion or to see the um, way that nature has changed the object. Uh, it speaks to that individual object's journey through time. And uh, something in a field is less likely to have been uh, eroded. It would be caked in mud and probably uh, more easily restorable. Wow. Now you also do stage design, and we've got a picture of that. Tell me how you bring your um, love of the water and those pieces into your stage design. Uh, so I think that there's a, a connection in the way that I like to collect things or search for things that, mm -hmm. that express a story. Sure. Um, the first show that I did was Trash Macbeth, and that was, um, let's see, about three years ago. and. Uh, I utilized trash within the set, which is something that I definitely connected to. Um, and then from there, I realized that uh, building environments or understanding environments was something that uh, was really fun for me. What's that one? That is from the show Burrow by Young Liars. Um, and it was a, or based on a short story by Kafka and uh, it's set within a burrow, so the entire uh, room was uh, encapsulated by uh, the burrow architecture that you saw there, <laughs> and then filled with um, uh, odd found objects. That's pretty fascinating. So once again, where can people go to see your artwork, or if someone is interested in purchasing some of your artwork, do you sell it? Where can we get it? Uh, that's um, definitely possible. Uh, the best place to go is my website. Um, and uh, sending me an email is a good way to go. I have work up at the improv shop, and um, I'll have work up in other shows in the near future. I want you to talk to me about your favorite piece of art you've ever created. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's hard to have a favorite. I think that it's like having a relationship with something. Like, uh, you have an idea, and you uh, play with that idea, explore that idea, and then when you're done with the visual work or the whatever work it is, uh, then you've already gotten what you need out of it. So it's always the next thing or the thing that I'm working on currently that tends to be my favorite. It's pretty amazing what you do and how you do it. Thank you for giving that type of art to us. We need more like that. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. For more information on Kristen, visit her site, kristencassidy.com, or send her an email at kristenlcassidy at gmail.com. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll find out about some upcoming health fairs in the area after this break. <laughs>